He had it out over there, and that's where we're gonna pick up the blood. And then I shot past Through that tree, that all that shit, all that shit, and landed right on the heart. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Oh, Good job, man. Yeah. So there's a the killing tree. Fuck yeah. Come in here. I hung that lone wolf. I got lone wolf and lickety split. Just got in there this morning, sat, immediately got in the stand, and here come a nice young buck first thing this morning. It was kind of slow, but yeah, this uh, I, this afternoon, shoot, it was early. I think I shot him at like not even three o'clock yet, I, I think. Um, yeah, big boy came in, come all the way down here, right behind this big tree, and the wind's kind of slowly drifting over here. And he nailed me. He didn't know where it was coming from, but he turned around and he jetted out to about 27 and landed. He had a tree right where I needed to shoot. And I drew back and I thought, boy, I got to squeeze that tree. And I squeezed that tree and I hit it. And it just zapped him right in the heart. Just blood everywhere. So lots of blood. We can follow him. I know he's laying dead right over here. Was this at the shot? Um, shot was right. He's standing right here. You see where he skid, skidded out yep. a little bit. I was in that tree. See that double right there? And he was standing just like this, quarter away, looking like that. And I had to come right by this, right by this tree, tight through all that jangles. It was, it was a very fortunate shot. I really, I wouldn't want to take it again. Huh? It was dangerous, but it worked out perfect. It's like throwing an axe through an animal. <laughs> <laughs> an axe. Jeez. Oh my. Holy shit. <laughs> He's got some cool stuff going on. That's what dreams are made of right there. Oh my God. Holy smokes. All the hours in the tree. And it comes together and get blessed with a big old creature like this. Boy, he's just a stud. Look at this. That deer's 80s. If not he's more. He's going to be close to it. I think he's going to be Look at the beams. Yeah, the beams are. The mass, the non-typicals. And that deer's 80s. That'd make my day if he went 80. I don't have an 80. He, he, last, might, he, he, might year, be, he might be more, Ross. Last year he had a unicorn point about this tall, right out the middle. You sure it wasn't that same point he's got right there at his base? Yeah, it was. It looked just like this, but it was out of out of his forehead. Huh. It was weird. So it shifted, and now it's back here. I mean, I guess it could have been. It sure looked like it was right out of that forehead. But give him a slow spin. Hey Gene, can you take that uh, Rope sled out? out? You can snap some pictures if you want to. Yeah, if you want to cut the clips and go to, go to a picture. Jeez, what a frame. Giant. What up, buddy? Put him on speaker. <laughs> he, 
he, he got bigger, I think, when I walked up on him, really. He just, he just, everything. I don't know, Austin's talking mid-90s. Well. He's. Yep. <laughs> well. I, uh, I got another guy pulling in, and we are trying to time this lighting just right for pictures, dude. So um, I'm going to call you after dark. I will. See ya. Bye. Hey, guys. Hope you like watching that recovery video. I think it's pretty cool just to see, like, the raw, uncut, uh, just reaction of Ross walking up on that. It's funny while they're talking. Oh, he's 80s. He could be 190. Little did they know it actually went 202 inches. Pretty cool. Um, but real quick, just for the end, uh, episode 411, Ross's Epic 2020 Part 2. You hear the entire episode of this whole buck, um, basically the entire breakdown uh, on Spotify. There it is, and you can't see it. There it is. So Spotify, episode 411, you can hear the entire story and hopefully enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. Good luck this season.